everybody and welcome to my channel today we're going to be doing an unboxing for november's owl crate if i am choking and coughing during this video it is because i just filmed my unplugged book box one and there was something in it that stank like stank so bad uh so everything just smells like pine and i think my nostrils are burned so if you want to check that out that should already be out uh but we are going to be doing the owl crate in this one but i just wanted to warn you if that's why i'm like like gagging sometimes it's so bad but anyway you are here for the owl crate so let's open this up let's do sneak peek there's normally nothing ever to see with these sneak peeks but okay bye <laughs> Okay, we obviously have our, I believe our last bowl. I think I know what two of the things are. One is gonna be a bowl and one is, spoilers, spoilers. And one is a reading planner. If you hear anything, my husband's talking to his mom on the phone. Uh, the theme for November 2022 is the dark heart of the forest. I, I really miss the old cards, like this is fine. But I miss the old artwork, which is really sad. Oh, so yeah, I think it's a reading planner, the bowl, and then I know what the book is because it's the same book as Illumicrate, which I thought was funny because I think Illumicrate's imprint, Daphne Press, owns the book and they're the ones actually publishing it. I think, I think that's how it works. So I thought that was kind of odd that Alcrate is doing it. I don't 100% know if that's true. I feel like it'll say it on the book if it's Daphne Press, but we'll see. Maybe it's just, Maybe there's a different U.S. publisher. Cause you know how like Hofton, what is it? H Hotter and Stoughton? Hofton and Stoughton? I don't remember. Something like that does the UK ones and then a lot of here like Penguin Pro, whatever. Uh, anyway, let's move along. First item, the bowl. Cause we know, we know this is our last Lord of the Rings bowl. It's funny because I can only find three. Well, three, this will be the third one. Um, I don't know where my first one went. So I need to find the first one that I ever got, I have no idea where I put it. Here we go, a little spoiler in there. Looks like this is Gondor, which is cool. Oh, this may be my favorite. This may be my favorite. Oh, that's so nice. I'm sorry the light is so wonky. It is getting dark here, but I want to finish filming these now because yeah. Oh, that is so pretty. It says, all that is gold does not glitter, not all those who wander are lost. I mean, that's perfect. Love that. Stick that right there. Next item, we're going to do our literary luggage pin. I always rip the thing on this because it's like fits exactly into this little container. This is going to be number 11 of 12. Let me pin looks like this and it says welcome to the blood forest welcome to the blood forest or beware sorry beware of the blood forest uh from blood and ash yeah i wouldn't know that i haven't read it and i feel like i feel like i'm not going to i feel like i'm not going to read it which is i feel like a hot take but everyone who's reading like the series current with like the last book that came out they seem really upset with it so i don't know if i want to read it and like put myself through that Perhaps there is magic in the forest. I don't recognize that quote. What is this? What is this? Is this like... <laughs> I don't understand what this is. The forest whispered and watched. The design's a little funky in here with whispered, but this is neat. Is this like, do you put your spatulas on this in the kitchen like i feel like that's what it is and that's probably what i'll use it for that's neat i have no idea what this is but i really like it and it's really cool yeah that's odd i've never seen anything like that next item is in a little box oh it's a hand warmer let's see it on the back dark forest hand warmer i have had these before these work really well uh they're really neat this says, the wood makes monsters of us all. This would have been useful today. I went to the Ren Fair today. This would have been mega useful how freezing it was. See this little disc, you pop it, and then it turns the whole thing into this like warm thing. And then I think you boil it to reset it. I can't remember. 
Uh, his magic is my magic. Petals and seeds, leaves and pollen. I have no clue. I have, have no clue. Do you know what it kind of looks like? Looks like a breast implant. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I had to say it. Somebody was going to say it. <laughs> Next item is our reading plan. Actually, we'll do the reading plan last. There is another thing. This is going to be... This is going to be a toothbrush. I can tell. The trees speak Latin. I don't know any of these things. I think it's because I don't read a ton of books that have uh, like nature themed. Oh, it's one of those bamboo ones. Okay. Visit Caves Water. I just did the Unplugged Book Box and they also had a Raven Boys item in there. So visit Caves Water, bamboo. I think we just had this type of item in Unplugged 2 or another box. And then it's in Latin on the other side. I believe. So that is that. So that's obviously the Raven cycle. And then here is the reading planner, what everyone's, I have it backwards, what everyone's been waiting for. And it is gorgeous. Looks like a Luna moth on the front. That is so pretty. The clearest way into the universe is through a forest wilderness. That's the quote on the back. This is so pretty. It's not my normal vibe because I'm not like an outdoorsy person, but this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, there is a lot. Okay, opening page goes through all this different stuff. Weekly planner tips, supplementary pager, pages within each month section. Oh my gosh, it's sad because I actually use the same planner every year. I get uh, little inkling designs. I get her planner every year, so I never use these, but I probably am because there's different reading prompts in here. There are different reading prompts. So I don't know. We're going to see. I might use this for like YouTube specifically. Like planning YouTube and only put YouTube things that I like put in YouTube on here. That might be good. I might do that because this is such a nice planner. This is such a nice planner. I don't want to waste it. Uh, you can also just use it for any year also because it's not specific. So like... It doesn't actually have anything numbered. You have to put it in there yourself. And so technically I could hold on to this, but I have last year's that I haven't used either. So I don't know. I'm probably going to use this for YouTube specifically, which would be really fun. And it's gorgeous. It is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, and I love this. Oh, there's two. That's neat. There are two ribbons. That's so cool. One's uh, green, almost a blue, and one is like a cream color. Love that. And then I think we're already down to the book because the reading planner is a really big item, big ticket item. Before the book, we have Owl Babble and we have the spoilers for next month, which we will go over afterwards. Like I said, I already know what the book is, so it's not a surprise, but I did not know what it looked like. And looks pretty cool. All right, the book is the luminaries this is such a big release like this is a huge release i'm surprised they didn't do this as like a special edition i'm that surprised let me take it out of the wrapping we can look at it more first we have the author letter oh my god this is so pretty this is a lot different than the original but keeps like the essence of it that's gorgeous and then the book i mean that is so pretty. I think I like it equally to the original because there's something just very ethereal about it. And it's like the dark side of it. Like the original is not like a light one, but I love the blue. That's really nice. And the back says, we are lanterns. The forest can never snuff out. I'm really excited. I'm not going to start this. I'm really sad because I really want to read this and I think I'm going to love it. But I still need to read her Witchland series. So I gotta do that first. And we have some beautiful like navy purplish sprayed edges. Very, very nice. When you open up the book. Oh yeah, they like, they like really went all out. Let's do the artwork on the back first. Not my favorite artwork, not my favorite style, but I like it at the same time. Like it's giving me some interesting vibes. So you got her, she looks really cool. He looks really creepy. And she's holding like a crossbow. Okay. And then we have, reminds me of like the Colorado flag. 
uh, loyalty through and through. And then on the inside, this reminds me of Harry Potter with Patronuses. You have like ghost animals, which is now has me kind of freaked out because I don't like things that have animals. Yeah, it's the same on the back. But man, this is really pretty. And then on the signature page, it's kind of an odd signature page, but it's really pretty. So that is the book. Let's read the synopsis. Hemlock Falls isn't like other towns. You won't find it on a map, your phone won't work here, and the forest outside town might just kill you. Winnie Wednesday wants nothing more than to join the Luminaries, the ancient order that protects Winnie's town and the rest of humanity from the monsters and nightmares that rise in the forest of Hemlock Falls every night. Ever since her father was exposed as a witch and a traitor, Winnie and her family have been shunned. But on her 16th birthday, she can take the deadly Luminary Hunter Trials, improve herself true and loyal, and restore her family's good name or die trying. But in order to survive, Winnie enlists the help of one other person who can train her, Jay Friday, resident bad boy and Winnie's ex-best friend. While Jay might be the most promising new hunter in Hemlock Falls, he also seems to know more about the nightmares of the forest than he should. Together, he and Winnie will discover a danger lurking in the forest no one in Hemlock Falls is prepared for. Not all monsters can be slain and not all nightmares are confined to the dark. That sounds really good. I remember that synopsis because this has like been on my list for a while and I am so excited to read it after I read the Richland series, which is sad, but I'm really excited to read this. Let's talk about the spoilers. First off, the Owl Babble and the original versus what we got. They're both stunning. They're both really nice. Uh, if I like this book series, I'll probably get the original, but it looks really good. I like them. I like the change. I like the original. I don't really have a preference. Let's talk about actual spoilers and not just the Owl Babble. Where did I put them? Okay, spoilers for this box. So Janine LaCour designed the limited edition ceramic bowls. I believe this is the last one. Fourth installment brings us to the glorious kingdom of Gondor. This month's collectible literary luggage done by Atlas Creative from Blood and Ash. Paperback Bones, the reading planner designed by Tess Medovich, aka Paperback Bones. The soap dish from the Bear, Bear and the Nightingale. Yeah, I don't, I've never read that. I have it. Soap dish. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. And that'll be really easy to clean, and it's designed by Azura Arts. Hand warmer was designed by Lively Ghosts, with quotes from Lake's Edge and Among the Beasts and Briars. I've read Lake's Edge. And then the Bamboo Toothbrush and Wheat Straw Travel Case set features designs by Brio and Brandish. I love Brio and Brandish. And then our book, The Luminaries, signed Night Edition. That's cool, it is a Night Edition. Features sprayed edges in a beautiful shade of blue, exclusive cover, illustrated reversible dust jacket art by Anna Shoe Art. You'll find exclusive foil design by Tess Medovich or Paperback Bones. And then Rhymes.Y created a hauntingly gorgeous woodland scene for exclusive end papers. That's cool. Really like this box. Favorite item in the box. It's gotta be the bowl. I love the bowl. It would be the reading planner if I like 100% would use it throughout the whole year but it's gotta be the bowl. Bowl is super pretty. Least favorite item would be the straw, I don't, or not the straw, the bamboo toothbrush, because I don't know if I'm gonna use it. It still kind of wears me out, but I know they're like really environmentally safe, so I will most likely use it. But yeah, that's all I have for this box. I thought it was a really good box. I enjoyed it. I'm really excited for this book. Again, super surprised it wasn't one of their special edition books that you bought separately. Very excited it was actually in the box, and I can't wait to see what the Lumicrate edition looks like. So that's all I have for you guys. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video and comment down below what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want to see in future boxes. And that's all I've got. So I'll see you in the next video.